right now on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. It's a bonanza of bourbon, barbecue, and burgers. We're going inside the kitchen at Smoke and Ride to see it done like never before. They're smoking just about everything here, from beef brisket to pork. They're even smoking a Manhattan. Smoke all in there. Come with us across the river to southern Indiana right now for a smoking good edition of Secrets of Bluegrass Shops. Welcome to another tasty edition of Secrets of Bluegrass Shops. I'm Tim Laird and this time we've headed downriver and over the bridge to Horseshoe in southern Indiana. You don't have to be a gambler to win big at Horseshoe. In fact, you don't even have to get on the boat to win. Because there's a bounty of good eats and drink to be had right here on shore at Smoke and Rye, the newest signature restaurant at Horseshoe. Here, it's all about burgers and barbecue. Pulled pork. Brisket. A beef brisket. Half chicken. St. Louis style ribs. Or ribs. And the selection of barbecue sauces will take you anywhere you want to go in the country. And they're all made from scratch. So you have your South Carolina, for example. That region is uh, very famous for doing a mustard-based sauce. North Carolina does a very light vinegar sauce. We have a Kansas City-style sauce, and that is uh, the molasses and the brown sugar. And then we do uh, our own signature sauce that's called the Smoke and Rye OG sauce. And that is a marriage of the Kansas City styling and the North Carolina style. And the signature sauce has a kick of Kentucky, too. It's infused with bourbon. And speaking of bourbon, that's what really sets smoke and rye apart. One of our staples is the bourbon. You won't find a bigger selection of bourbons and whiskeys anywhere. They have over 160 selections to choose from. We have 173, I believe is the final count. There's a lot of whiskey and a lot of creative ways to serve it. Wait until you see Smoke and Rise Smoked Manhattan. It's a delicious drink, but if one of them's ordered at one end of the bar, you can bet three more are coming out right after that, after everybody sees it and smells it and, and watches the whole thing. It's, it's really neat to watch. You'll get to watch one being made and get the secrets to doing it yourself coming up. Everything here comes with its own special twist. And not just the bourbon and barbecue, people love the Asian style lettuce wraps stuffed with sesame soy marinated shrimp. You can get fresh fish like this rainbow trout, fresh salads, skillet baked cornbread, and how about a towering pork belly grilled cheese sandwich? Wow! The pork sliders are one of the most popular appetizers, and when it comes to burgers, the combinations are almost never ending. Right now we have nine uh, different burgers. But one of my personal favorites, the Brie Berry, in-house made uh, blackberry jam. Uh, brie cheese on our fresh ground patty. It's it's really amazing. We grind all of our meat in house. The majority of everything we make is from scratch, and uh, that's something we're super proud of. All the dressings are made in house. The sauces, the meats are smoked, the patties are ground, the fish is cut, the garnish items like the pickles and the, and the coleslaws. You know, and we we smoke the chickens, and then when we pull the chicken down for the salads, we take the skin off it and we make that crispy so we can top our, our chili verde. Um, nothing's coming out of a box, you know, from the, the, the house cut fries, uh, like I said, to the pickles and the slaws, you know, everything is made that day. Coming up, we'll go into the kitchen to see Smoke and Rye's signature burger that comes with everything but the kitchen sink. But first, let's get things started at the bar. I'm with Matt behind the bar at Smoke and Rye. Hello, Matt, how are you? Hi, Tim, good, how are you? You're smoking everything from beef to pork even Manhattans were smoking. Even our Manhattans. We figured we'd bring some of uh, the wood chips that we use for our meat. We actually infuse into the cocktail itself. Oh, what a great idea. Can you show us the secrets to that? Absolutely. So we start out, take your Yari glass, you're gonna build this up, and you're gonna take some bitters, which is, you know, your traditional Classic. Manhattan. Give that two little splashes. Then we're gonna take cherry hearing liqueur, which is kind of our spin on the Manhattan. Okay. We're gonna do a quarter ounce of that. Throw that right in there. Then you're going to take three quarters of an ounce of sweet vermouth. Traditional. Absolutely. And then we'll do an ounce and a half of Woodford. Nice long pour. There Get that go. all in there. Then we take some ice. Give that good. 20 turns, you want to get it all nice and diluted. It's always good to get a good stir going and 
Right now we have what would be called a traditional uh, Manhattan. Absolutely. But you're going to take it another step. <laughs> We're going to fill this bottle with some smoke, which is made out of the wood chips that we use to actually smoke all of our in-house meats. So you light this. So it's a traditional smoker you can buy pretty much anywhere, cooking store, anything like that. You got to get that thing that really does, filled. That does put out a lot of smoke. Oh, it Look does. You got to get that smoke all in there. Take that out of there. And then oh, so the drink gets pour strained it, into the smoking bottle. Pour it right on through there. And if you want to give that a few little swirls for me. Oh, sure. Can I get the drinks mixed around it's like in like a, a Manhattan in the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you probably would be after a few of these. <laughs> so, okay, we give this a okay. good swirl. Yep. Is that give good enough? Give a few good swirls. All right. That smoke in there. And that smoke, and I'll tell you, that all of a sudden excites the palate Absolutely. already. You smell that, that smoke smell. Is coming over, all from that good wood. And then you take your little orange, you gotta heat it up a little bit, you give it a little pop. Very nice. Orange zest, run around the rim. Kind of caramelizes that zest a little Absolutely. bit. Absolutely, has a little, a little, little more flavor. orange. Mind if I try this? Absolutely. Matt, thank you. Cheers to you, my friend. This looks absolutely fabulous. Wow, and it is smoking good. Let me tell you, this is a great Manhattan. Matt, that's incredible. Thanks for showing us the secrets to your smoked Manhattan. My pleasure. <laughs> awesome. Next, we go from the smoked Manhattan to the smoked pulled pork. We'll show you the secrets to how they're doing it here, coming up. Make sure we're putting care into everything we do, and I think that was the most important thing. Plus, the mother of all burgers made completely from scratch. About that tall, I think. See the secrets to how it's done, from the grinding to the toppings, when we come back to Horseshoe Southern Indiana on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. Get a fresh start to your day at McGee's Bakery of Lexington. We make the biscuit and we make the sandwich. We make the croissant and we make the sandwich. We make the bagel and we make the sandwich. McGee's Bakery for cakes, cookies, pies, breakfast, and lunch. Enjoy the finest coffee drinks in town and free Wi-Fi in a relaxing atmosphere. McGee's Bakery, family owned and operated since 1956. Come see us at the corner of East Main and South Ashland. Tim Laird here, taking in the sights and flavors of Shaker Village of Pleasant Hill. It's a tourist destination in Harrodsburg where you can immerse yourself in a culture that existed here between 1805 and 1910. It's also one of the stops on a progressive dinner for the Fort Arid Beef Festival's cattle crawl. We serve a good amount of beef at Shaker Village. Nowadays at Shaker Village, you can eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and even sip on some fine Kentucky bourbon while you're here. Make sure you try the signature fried green tomatoes and a slice of Shaker lemon pie and check out what diners on the crawl are digging into. It's a beefed up salad, prepared with fresh greens that come right out of Shaker Village's garden. We're beefing up the salad by adding a little bit of Kentucky raised uh, beef. Beef brisket that's smoked with wood that comes from right here on the Shaker Village property. Chef Amber Holcombs shows us the secret to how it's done. Beefing up the salad starts with um, garden greens. We have a little bit of kale, some fresh greens, some micro greens. We've got some daikon radish. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and toss that with a little bit of olive oil, drizzle it on top, a little bit of salt, a little bit of fresh pepper on there. And then we're just gonna toss that up right on the plate. Just slide on two pieces of beef right on top. We're smoking the beef brisket. Um, they're coming in probably 15 to 20 pounds a piece. Uh, you know, salt and pepper is really all it takes, and then four to five hours low and slow on our smoker. You slice it, uh, slice it thin to order. Top it off with a little bit of Shaker Village buttermilk dressing. It's cool, but it's got a little kick. And then we're gonna finish it off with just a couple dollops over here of our house barbecue sauce. And that's it for Shaker Village smoked brisket salad. Enjoy. <laughs> now that's what I call a beefed up Kentucky salad. Thanks for the secrets, Amber. Taste the food Kentucky is raving about at Heirloom in Midway. Eclectic, contemporary cuisine that's all scratch made with seasonal ingredients. Fresh, flavorful, local food. Heirloom, lunch and dinner, Tuesday through Saturday in historic downtown Midway. 
Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs is presented by the Kentucky Beef Council. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Fresh, exciting flavors at the local taco. Drop in for delicious tacos, enchiladas, salads, an incredible homemade margarita. It's Tex-Mex Bluegrass style, made with local ingredients and Southern culture. The local taco on South Limestone. Tim Laird here in Southern Indiana, and we found a hot spot for burgers, bourbon, and barbecue. Even though we're not technically in the bluegrass, it sure tastes like it. This is Smokin' Rye at Horseshoe Southern Indiana, which is just a few minutes down the road from downtown Louisville and well worth the trip. Whether you hit the casino or not, you're guaranteed to be a big winner here. You can tee it up at Chariot Run, Horseshoe's spectacular equestrian-themed golf course. Or catch a big-name act rocking the concert hall where everyone is up close to the action. On weekends, the top floor of the casino turns into a Vegas-style nightclub. Treat yourself to prime beef with a VIP steakhouse experience at Jack Binion's. And then there's my favorite attraction, Smoke and Rye, where you'll find some of the rarest bourbons in the world, along with handcrafted burgers and barbecue. So many people just don't gamble, but they still want to come out and have a good time and have a good dinner. It's like a jackpot for your taste buds, especially if you're a fan of slow smoked meat. I would say we probably go through about 500 pounds a week, all together with all of our smoked meats. Jessica Parker is the chef at Smoke and Rye. She's passionate about putting perfection on every plate. We think something's good, we try to perfect it in every way. They've certainly perfected pulled pork. And right now, Chef Jessica is showing us how. It's a pork butt and uh, what we rub it, basic dry rub we use for all of our meats. Um, and it has smoked paprika, uh, some smoked sea salt, and a handful of other spices. Your granulated garlic, your onion powder, your uh, chili powder, cumin, things of that sort are in there. Our pulled pork smokes for 16 hours. We use a blend of apple, cherry, and mesquite wood. They're smoking meat all of the time here, which is actually one of the secrets to why it's so good. They use the meat drippings to create au jus, which is then injected into the next round of smoked meats. So in a way, one smoked brisket is adding flavor to the next one. Same goes with the pulled pork. Another secret is the smoker itself. These babies are the Cadillacs. They're amazing. This is our finished product of our pulled pork. Now let's pull it right out of the smoker, falling right apart. And what we do is we remove this top layer of fat, which we keep it on there to keep it nice and moist, as you can see, all the juices coming out of there. As you can see here is nice smokering, nice, nice bark on the outside, and so we use these ends for burn ends that we put in our baked beans. Now, it's just a matter of pulling the pork apart, which you can see is pretty easy, but be careful. It's hot. Yeah, you want to let it rest for a little bit, let the juices come together. You also won't completely burn your hands when you pull it. We'll put it with a little bit of jus, and then it's ready to go. That's it. All right, from here, let me show you how we uh, go ahead and make our pulled pork plate. And what we do is we will heat up our pulled pork and the smoked jus, um, which is just drippings, mix it with some uh, beef base and some other, other seasonings, just to keep, make sure the pork's always moist. Then it adds a really nice flavor to it. You can either order a half pound or a whole pound. They serve the pulled pork on a slate plate, which, when warmed, will keep the meat nice and toasty until you're done devouring it. It holds heat really well. You can pick whatever barbecue sauce uh, you like. We make all of our sauces in-house. We have our uh, smoke and rye barbecue sauce. Um, it's our signature sauce. It's a bourbon and tomato-based sauce. It's smoky, it's sweet. Then we have our South Carolina barbecue sauce, which is 
your mustard base sauce. So next we have our North Carolina barbecue sauce, which is our it's a thin vinegar based sauce. A little spicy, a little sweet. It goes very well on our pork, our brisket. And then we have our sweet Kansas City style. So it's molasses based, tomato. You could bet which one is my favorite. Yep, you guessed it, the smoky bourbon signature sauce. We always do a little bit of a drizzle. Now that we have our pork has a sauce on it, we're not done. So what we do is all of our barbecue plates, we serve with our house slaw, cabbage mix, and then we have a cilantro lime vinaigrette we toss this with, and then obviously some salt and pepper. I think that's definitely what will take a good coleslaw to the next level is just some salt and pepper. There you have it, the simple secret to slaw, salt and pepper. We just plate some right on the side here. We have our garlic dill pickles. Uh, they're house made. Uh, we take a basic pickle brine and we uh, use fresh dill, vinegar, sugar, water, um, garlic, black peppercorns, and some crushed red pepper. You boil all that down. Just uh, pour it over your cucumbers, let them soak for about six hours. Last but not least, uh, we have our house-made cheddar biscuits. Um, instead of doing a traditional soft roll with our barbecue, we figured we'd do something a little different. You can't really go wrong with biscuits in general, I don't think. That's our pulled pork plate with our signature smoke and rye barbecue sauce. There are many ways to enjoy the pulled pork at smoke and rye, including on top of a burger. Wait until you see this. It's a nice wow factor and it's a really good burger. It's something you can't get anywhere else. The secrets to smoke and rye signature towering burger when Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs returns. Never miss an episode of Secrets. Set a series record on your DVR right now and watch all local, all positive TV anytime. Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs, served fresh weeknights at 6.30 on MyKYTV. The best flavor and atmosphere is at The Tulip on Romney Road. Exquisitely prepared classic bistro fare with fine wine, craft cocktails. The Tulip opens Monday through Saturday with light fare at 4 and dinner at 5. Treat yourself at The Tulip in Chevy Chase. Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs is brought to you in part by PNC Bank. For the achiever in you. But first, it's time for another Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs Hotspot. Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs Hotspots are brought to you by Cisco Louisville. Good things come from Cisco. If you're a Wildcat fan and a fan of hot wings, you've got to check out Wildcat Wings. Come check it out. This place is a hot spot. Wildcat Wings has locations in both Danville and Nicholasville. And there's a wing for everyone because they come with your choice of more than two dozen sauces. Do you want any wing sauce? The burgers here are a big favorite too. Get them with crinkle fries or cinnamon maple sweet potato fries, which are perfect for doing some dunking in caramel dipping sauce. You can always watch the cats play here on game days or do some playing of your own. Then. Dig into a steak hoagie or a super-sized salad that's topped with tasty chicken tenders. And if you're watching the games at home, no worries, Wildcat Wings delivers too. So cat fans, come one, come all to Wildcat Wings. Go cats. Where cat fans always feel like family and never go hungry. This place is a hot spot. Secrets of Bluegrass Chef's Hot Spots are brought to you by Cisco Louisville. Good things come from Cisco. Come as you are to Azure Restaurant and Patio. Innovative cuisine by Chef Jeremy Ashby, made with fresh local ingredients. Enjoy a casual European atmosphere inside or on the spacious Azure Patio. Azure Restaurant and Patio in Lexington's Beaumont Center. We have a lot to be proud of here in the Bluegrass. Hardworking people beautiful farms and Kentucky sports. This fall, make your friends and family's tailgate party a celebration of who we are and what makes Kentucky great. From our tailgate to yours. Make every game day win by adding beef to your grill. 
Visit kybeef.com for tips and delicious recipes that are sure to be a touchdown at your next tailgate. Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs is presented by the Kentucky Beef Council. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Take your taste buds on vacation at Brasabana. Bold Caribbean flavors that will remind you of sunshine and warm tropical breezes. Fresh and authentic Cuban recipes and dozens of premium rums behind the bar. Taste paradise at Brasabana on Lane Allen Road. Welcome back to Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. This time, our search for good local eats has taken us just across the Ohio River to Horseshoe, Southern Indiana. When you come to Southern Indiana to Horseshoe, it's a sure bet you're gonna find some of the best burgers and barbecue anywhere. Barbecue and burgers. Everything from scratch. You can get great barbecue any way you like it, from pork to beef and sauces with flavors that take you from the Carolinas to Kansas City. The range of burger options is just about as endless too. A taste for everybody. Classically dressed or contemporary combinations like the Barry and Brie burger. Something different. Jessica Parker grew up in the kitchen and now she's running the kitchen at Smoke and Ride, carrying on a family tradition. My family is a big cooking family. My, my dad loved to cook. Um, this is what he wanted to do when he was growing up, so I kind of just followed in the footsteps and went from there. And while she might be following in dad's footsteps, dad never made a burger like this. It's the signature at Smoke and Rye, and just like all the other burgers, it begins with a combination of freshly ground meats. We have a pound of our beef shoulder, half pound of our ribeye, half pound of our shrimp loin, and a half pound of our pork belly. And this is Applewood smoked pork belly. This isn't your typical 80-20 ground beef. It's infused with maximum flavor. We do right around a 30 to 40% fat on ours. We don't trim any of the fat off of our ribeye loins or our shrimp loins. They're more fat, more flavor. But what I'm grinding right now is strip loin. And this is what you would cut for strip steaks. Same with the ribeye, it's what you would cut for ribeye steaks. And you got the pork belly going in, and that's where a very large amount of your flavor comes into play. Just mix it all pretty well. You don't want to overmix it. If you overmix it, it'll make it like meatloaf. So you don't want to go too crazy with it, but you want to make sure it's all incorporated. Everything's done by hand, so when you mix it all by hand, I think texture's a lot better when you do it that way. What I'll do is I'll put a little butter down on the flat top. Now this is just our, we use a basic dry rub for all of our smoked meats. And uh, what we do is we add a little bit extra salt and pepper and garlic to this for our burgers. Very liberally seasoned burger. Season both sides. Right, come over here and flip the burger. So you want that sear on all the sides of your burger. Put a little more butter down. And then an everything bun. It's a brioche bun and has all the toppings that you would have on an everything bagel on top of the bun. Sesame seed, poppy seed, and some uh, onion. Different kind of bun. I think it's very important for your bun to be toasted. If you eat a burger on a cold bun, it's just, it's just not the same. You want that nice buttery, crispy edges on your bun. Now after your burger's all seared and you're ready to melt some cheese on it, we have our smoked Gouda, and then we have our white cheddar. Put our white cheddar down first, and then we'll top that with our cold pork. It's a messy burger, but it's definitely worth it. This is our signature barbecue. Just drizzle a little bit of this on top, and then top it with your smoked Gouda. Put a little water down, get some steam going. So your cheese is nice and thoroughly melted. Um, you don't want to have a cold piece of cheese on your burger. It's, it's not, not satisfying whatsoever. And would you believe there's still more that goes on this burger? Get this! So we'll throw in our black pepper bacon. Get it all nice and crispy. And we'll top our burger with a black pepper bacon. While all those flavors melt together, Chef Jessica gets everything ready to dress this beast. 
Now I'm just putting a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper on our lettuce mix. There's some arugula, frisee, spinach. And top that on the bottom bun. We have some sliced Roma tomatoes. I think Roma tomatoes have a definitely different flavor from other tomatoes. And alongside all the Kraft burgers at Smoke and Rye come Kraft fries. What else, right? Now all of our fries are cut in-house. No frozen fries. We cut about, I would say, about 200 pounds of fries a day. And now, the main attraction. You need a steady okay. spatula hand to pull this off. Right on top of here. And that is the Smoke and Rye OG Burger. Something that really showcases what we do in one burger. What more could you want in a burger? I can't think of anything else I'd want in a burger, but a good bourbon cocktail alongside it wouldn't hurt. So let's make one more trip to the bar where they serve an old fashioned like none I've ever tasted before. I'm with Matt, who's gonna show us uh, a great cocktail. It's kind of a twist of an old fashioned, the classic. We take a uh, thyme and peach shrub, which we actually make in house, macerate your uh, fruit with some sugar, and then you actually puree it, and then you add some vinegar. So you have wow. a little bit of a tang to it and a sweetness to it. This sounds great, Matt. Can you yeah. show us the secrets to this one? Absolutely. So, like a traditional old fashioned, you start off with some bitters. Get that in there. Then you're gonna take an ounce and a half of our peach and thyme shrub. And peach that. and bourbon just naturally go together. It does. They're a nice combination. Then you're gonna take an ounce and a half of Old Forester bourbon. And get that in there. Get some ice. And I like to use the nice cubes here too. I oh, think that's part of the classic cocktails. Is, absolutely. Uh, you don't use those little chips and all those other ones. Yeah, get the good ice. Yeah, get the nice big ice cubes. It doesn't dilute as much. Get the whole flavor. It's just and it's a better presentation, I think. Get it all mixed up. And that's another good secret you taught us about. 20 stirs is about Absolutely. right for perfect dilution yeah. and chilling. You don't want to shake it because it just clouds it. You can actually bruise the alcohol. So giving it some stirs, it gets a nice clear presentation and gets everything nice and mixed together. Great tip. Give that some nice pour of the rocks. Yeah, it just pulls out like any little impurities that were left Perfect over. from the... Absolutely. Because again, it's fresh. Yep, it's fresh. We want to make sure it's a nice clean drink. This yeah. sounds so interesting. I've got to try it. You've got the thyme and a grilled peach. And a grilled peach. We grill them every morning when I got here. Oh. Give them to the chefs and they grill it out back. Beautiful. All right, cheers. That apple cider vinegar does tease the tongue a little bit. Not it comes expecting on, it. But it's a nice balanced cocktail too. Not too sweet. Just right. I still get a taste of the uh, old Forester, so you're not covering up. But very hide. classic, but also very, uh, I want to say, sophisticated cocktail. Absolutely. So you're a guaranteed winner when you come right here to Smoke and Rye for Matt's unbelievable great cocktails. Cheers again. Thank you. Bourbon, burgers, barbecue, they have it all at Smoke and Rye with live music on the weekends, too. If you ever need an excuse to cross the Ohio, this is it. Believe me. Thanks for coming with us to Horseshoe, Southern Indiana. I'm Tim Laird, and we'll see you next time on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. Never miss an episode of Secrets. Set a series record on your DVR right now and watch all local, all positive TV anytime. Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs, served fresh, weeknights at 6.30 on MyKY TV. Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs is presented by the Kentucky Beef Council. Beef, it's what's for dinner. History is made from scratch at Weta Michaels Midway Bakery. Scones, brownies, jumbo cookies, Fresh baked homemade pies and muffins, gluten free baked goods too, and seasonal treats all made by hand with real Kentucky proud ingredients. Indulge yourself the old fashioned. Distilled in downtown Lexington offers the best of fine dining, artful southern cuisine with an exceptional selection of wines and bourbon. Winner of a 2015 Diner's Choice Award. Distilled serves elegant dinners every night, lunch, Monday through Saturday. Distilled Restaurant and Bourbon Bar in Lexington's historic Gratz Park Inn.
The freshest fish in Lexington is at Smithtown Seafood on West 6th Street. Fish and chips baskets, buffalo style catfish, and a small bites menu that goes perfectly with a beer from the West 6th Brewing Company right next door. There are great salads and burgers too at Smithtown Seafood, a proud partner with Lexington's food chain.